which I want to be right. happy. So yeah. Okay. And what are your messages? So I've, honestly, you haven't, in my eyes, gone overboard. I've seen, we've all seen, mm -hmm. wait, where it's like, okay, really? We, if you say you ever had work done, honey, bye. Okay, where yours could be, if you wanted to say you didn't, maybe you could get away with it. It's, it's, not, it's not too bad. You have, I was going to ask, if you had, if you had said you had, how did you go overboard? Because in my eyes, you had it. I feel like I have gone overboard. And, you do? Okay. Um, I do, but it's it's okay. I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when did you have, like, how many surgeries have you had? What did you have done? Like, did you have just, did you have done? Um, my boobs and my butt. Um, and the thing is that um, once you get these done, it's it's pure motivation. It's motivation to go work out. It's motivation to, to like, get you want to get more fit once you start getting stuff done because it's like, wow, look at that. You know, and then you just want to do more, so. So I do see that you do do the waist training and the butt lifting and things like that. So at the same time, <laughs> yes, I saw you in like a one piece yes. um, situation. I was, I was checking that out because I was like a little lift and a little tuck and stuff. I think it works work awesomely, and like um, people don't want to give it a try because it's like you know um, whatever it doesn't work. But it really works. Like I love it. I, wait, I mean, like if I didn't have white on, it would be on right now. Sure. How long have you been doing that type of um, waist training and things like that? Um, I've been strong for about two years with it. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And so how far in has your waist gone? Like when you started, you were? I was maybe a 20, I wasn't like a big fat girl or anything like that. So it's just like, um, I'm 24 now in the waist, but I think I maybe, maybe then after having my baby and everything, I got up to about 326. Okay. Not that big. So I believe I asked you about your measurements. What do you know exactly what your? The last time that I checked, it was Um, so I needed to ask you, um, do you have any personal beefs with anyone at the clubs or the or in general in the <laughs> career field? I know there's a lot of cattiness wow. at times amongst the ladies. It definitely is. Um, I mean, I would I would never give them any type of like you know um, no shout outs or nothing like that. But I mean, I mean you know none of really it's, it's a competition, it's a job, and it's all about the money. That's it. That's all. So, you know, it's not no. Friends or not friends, or you know, none of that. Just for the money. Okay. Just exactly like a shirt, so there's no, you know, unanswered questions. Nobody that that's worth saying their name. Oh, mm -hmm. Catch that Um, so I see that you're into Connect Pal. Okay, so here's the thing, okay? I want you to stop everything you're doing right now and go follow my Connect Pal. It's like mandatory connectpal.com slash miss maserati that's me <laughs> yes i am oh, okay so how would you join that how would you hear about it what is it okay well my friend Kiki, you know the porn star mm -hmm. long tongue um yes. she actually had one and she was just like you know man i can't be into this because guess what this this that and i said oh really and i took it and i um you know of course of course maybe put it in my own style and i'm in my own lane at all times and then it's just it just works for me, you know. I don't work at stadium anymore, so I'm just chilling. So one of the questions I wanted to know was, is it more lucrative than you doing the club? And I guess so, with you having left the club. <laughs> and I love the club more so along the lines because, um, so I'm into reading. I'm like a big nerd. I love books, and so I recently read Rich Dad Poor Dad, and in, in Rich Dad Poor Dad, it told me like it basically spoke to me, gave me law, like. You're working hard for this money. Make the money work hard for you. So I told myself in 30 days that was it. I got everything that I could get, and then I took it. And then like I wanted to um, invest it in something, and then like let the invest flip, flip, flip. That's what's working for me, and not me working for it. That's you. I absolutely love it. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Okay. Well. Um, one last personal question that I have for you, and this is from me just going through your Instagram posts. Mm -hmm. So, I saw a post where you asked, and it sparked a huge debate about swallowing mm -hmm. during oral sex. Oh my gosh. So, I read your post loud and clear. You said that you have not. Have not never, and <laughs> have never even been put in a situation near it or anything like that. I don't know, I'm just so weird. Like, um, 
I'm totally the opposite of what people would probably think. Like when you look at me, you're probably like, oh my mama, she probably loves to like do this and do that. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. like that, <laughs> so I'm that type of a person. Misconception. One that you may have about her personally, or strippers in general, or exotic dancers that they all are with, whatever. Here's one who's telling you that she, you know, despite her career choice, she does have limitations on certain things that she will will not do. So every male out there, and or female, you cannot assume that every exotic dancer is going to do something or push, you know, beyond certain limits. Well, no, except for the 95 hoes, because they're going to do Okay, so but do you pass judgment on women who have, who actually do, you know, enjoy doing that or go to that limit? Really? Do you judge them? I admire them. Like, I, like my friend, like I tell you, I talk about her all the time, Kiki. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, like giving hands is an art because, like, you know, if you put your finger in your mouth, you you won't spit like you about the gay. But, like, and so you should be able to put all in your mouth, all the way back and just, just doing all this extra stuff. That's an art. Oh, wow. So I want to transition now to our game of Never Have I Ever since one thing you never ever ever have done, mm -hmm. which is swallow, and I guess I'll take a drink. Thank you for my oh my goodness, this you know what you've done, you never done. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> so never have I ever scraped out the wrong name doing that. I've never done that. Never done. That? Never done once. I don't like it, but I mean, it, it happens sometimes. I don't, I don't like it. So 
No, it doesn't happen. happen. Oh, it happened. <laughs> just day and I was in a complete situation with somebody and did not know that technically I was like the side bitch when you I put all on fucking cool. <laughs> I would have been for this. I knew what it was, but because I knew we wouldn't be anything serious, I was just like, fuck it, whatever it is. Oh, it is. It is. I was a side chick. Okay. Never have I ever slept with a different breed. <laughs> Me either. I'm against I'm, it. I'm against it. You're against it? I am. I'm against it. I think because uh, black women have the Eve gene and um, they have to stay within the black race. That's it. Oh, okay. I like that. I've never really been tempted. I mean, it's nothing. I see, I've seen attractive, you know, people in other races, but I've never gone, wanted to go to the point where I wanted to really sleep with them. Um, Never have I ever had a threesome. <laughs> Never have I ever had a one night stand. I'm not gonna be okay. Come on, guys. I, I, I need to wait. I need to say something I really never have ever. Because clearly, I'm picking the wrong question. Cut it. Um, let's see. Never have I ever had sex with my boyfriend's friend. Because I was mad at him. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because guess what? The only thing you're supposed to do is just what you deserve. Right. You should put it. Okay, that's And that was definitely one of my never have I ever questions. Have you ever slept with someone, um, two friends, knowingly or unknowingly? Yes, intentionally. <laughs> so they did that on revenge. That's a Virgo thing. Yes, intentionally. Yes. yes. It had to be done. Absolutely. Well, I think that I have spilled too many beans because now my chest is burning. I am so intoxicated. We've had an amazing time giving Lisha Hepburn the beautiful Thank you for having me. Oh no! She has drank the tea era off her hair. Oh, Never yeah. has she ever. <laughs> Not so, got so drunk where she knocked her crown off. But happy birthday, beautiful thing. Thank you so thing. much. Happy birthday. Thank y'all. Oh, we had fun. Thank you. Lisha Hepburn came through. We talked about her career. We tapped into her personal life. And we played a crazy game of Never Have I Ever. Thank you all for tuning in. Happy birthday, beautiful. Thank you. Thank Tell you. Tell them where they can follow you and keep up with your movement. Oh, okay, great. I'm um, Lisha underscore Hepburn, um, majority of the things. And if you can't find me through there, just look for Monster Maserati. She's on the comment. Hey. <laughs>